Oh yes, attack of the stupid bungling idiots who can't find an even bigger idiot running around dressed like a man. Take patient interview 17. Joker remains uncooperative. My earlier diagnosis remains true. I believe he enjoys his persona too much. What's up, Doc? Today I thought we'd try something different. Oh, you make me blush, Doc. I have a girlfriend. Dr. Quinzel, I know. I've seen the tapes. I saw what happened. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Anyway, I thought it would be good to talk about your childhood. Oh, ever heard of romance, Doc? I don't give up the goods for free. You'll have to try harder. What are you hiding? Didn't you hear me? You scratch my back, Doc, and, well, I won't have you wrapped in plastic and left in a gutter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some troubling reports of a bat infestation in Joker Asylum. Everyone, that it is their civic duty to exterminate this vermin. We can't have it making its way back to the main. Gotham's veins, slowly filled with pain and suffering. The effects were felt everywhere. My father fell first, infected by some foul disease. My mother lived on, but only in a dream. I returned to the family home to care for her, where she remained in her bed for as long as her body continued to breathe. Her tears kept me awake at night. to find is if I strapped it to the hood of that ludicrously ostentatious vehicle of yours. <sighs> 